We'll start out with our host. This guy has no local storage, so he boots from the SAN, meaning his operating system boot volume resides on a storage array and is accessed over our SAN. And in order for him to access storage over the SAN, he needs a network card that connects him to the SAN. We call this network card an HBA or a host bus adapter. It's basically a specialized NIC and we'll go into the detail in the next slide. Anyway, let's add a switch. Every network needs a switch and fiber channel storage area networks are no different. So now we have our switch and our host connects to our switch via a cable. So I'm afraid there's still no wireless in the SAN yet and to be honest it's very very unlikely that there ever will be. Famous last words maybe but very unlikely. Now this cable can be either a copper cable or a fiber cable with 99.999999 whatever percent of fiber channel deployments being over fiber cables. And finally we need some shared storage. As we can now see in our diagram our storage array connects to the same fiber channel SAN and it's as easy as that we've got our SAN. Now then because access to storage is so important a server or application losing access to its storage is like taking the oxygen away from you or me. So because access to storage is so important we almost always deploy dual redundant fabrics. This can be seen in our diagram. Now this approach gives us extensive component resiliency. We could lose any one or even all of the components connected to for example switch B including switch B itself and we'd still not lose access to our storage. This is because the connections that we've got over switch A provide us with an alternate path to our storage. And this design principle, that of deploying dual redundant fabrics, is a hallmark of all good SAN designs. Now then, fiber channel SANs are scalable, meaning we can add more hosts, add more storage arrays, add more switches. We'll add another switch to each fabric in our example. And this is probably a good place to mention what a fabric is. A fabric in the fiber channel world is a fiber channel SAN consisting of one or more fiber channel switches that run a set of fabric services. These services include name servers, zoning databases, a time server for accurate timekeeping across the SAN. You name it, there are multiple services in a fiber channel SAN. And a hallmark of fiber channel fabrics is that you can plug additional switches into your existing fabric and have them automatically merge with the existing fabric. Of course there are guidelines and ground rules to follow but it usually is that simple and as for fiber channel fabric services we'll cover some of those in more detail throughout the lesson. So that's our view of a fiber channel SAN from 40,000 feet. Now let's drill into some of the detail. First up the host bus adapter card. 